can't see me. Let's go. What up, y'all? You can't see me here today back again. Hope everybody is doing well. We are jumping back into Imperion Galactic Survival. I'm doing a little crafting of some food. Try to stock up on these canned veggies as much as possible. Let's tend it to my garden a little bit. I'm going to take most of these out because this is going to be the last one. Let's come back and get this in a moment. I actually may make some more uh, fiber plants because I... Oh, I actually have a little more. Nice. Didn't mean to make that many. These aren't going to do the full 20. I don't have enough, but I'm going to just let it run out. Put this fiber in here. I'm going to actually make a fiber sprout. I need to grow a little more fiber for uh, something that we want to craft. And with that being said... What I want to do is um, I'm going to craft some auto miners because we need resources. What I'm finding is if you want to continue to build, if you want to continue to, uh, we'll say base build, build uh, more fleets or really even kind of maintaining certain things, you are going to need to do a lot of uh, harvesting. So, like, right now, I need more Prometheum. I'm running on Sathium, Neodymium. And what I want to craft... Well, actually, let me go to my tech tree. I want to unlock the, the second tier auto miner. Now, look at this. I got 1,700 <laughs> unlock points. The cap is 25 with the level, but I don't know if you still keep getting points. I didn't think you did. I think that's just what I have saved. But that's crazy, ain't it? Nah, this got to be accumulation. Somebody let me know in the comments if uh, you continue to accumulate points or unlock points. Because there's no way you can use all of these. Ah, but maybe that means in the future they'll be adding uh, more things to the tech tree for you to utilize in-game. Okay, so I unlocked this auto mining device 3. I actually got to see what resources I have to even craft uh, those. Oh, man, I don't have enough in this constructor. I actually want to do some repair bays, too, and we're going to install a repair bay here under uh, our hover vehicle and our small vessel. That way they can pull in and they can repair. I figure that's the way it works. I've never actually uh, used the repair bays, so... I'll be finding out with y'all at the same time how they actually work. So I can do the repair bays. Uh, the reason I can't do the auto mining devices is because of the core. Okay, cool. So we can do tier three. Hopefully this won't use up all of my, it's mainly Zascosium. We should be okay. Oh, it'll take a lot of resources. Woo. Okay, so like I said, we need to get more resources. So I also need these repair bays, one for the CV, one for the base. Oh, I do need to put one in the base as well. I'm going to just do one for the, uh, excuse me, two for the CV right now, and then I'll do some for the base in the future. Like I said, I'm running low. I think they may use Prometheum, which I need to collect. I think there is a five auto mining limit, but I could be wrong about that. All right, so... I let the auto miner keep crafting. I actually went ahead and crafted five and I ran around and did a couple other things. So what we want to do, we got five auto miner devices. Once again, I feel like it's, it's a limit either on how many of those you can craft or how many of the cores you can get. There is some something to that. Um, let me know in the comments. What I want to do real quick is install our repair bays. Cause I want to see if it actually fixes everything on the vehicle or not and i want to test out our drill because we do need some resources we're running low on a few of the uh, core resources so just to show you uh my thruster seven percent damage 30 percent damage on this thruster 11 11 22 so we know that we have some things that need to be repaired we'll worry about this for right now though in fact, let me jump in here, get this up some. Okay. 
dog on it. I wanted to do a dead center, but it's only it's an even amount of rows, but that's okay. Let's move our repair bay down here. I'll do it, uh, I want to do it inside or outside. I'll do it more inside, how about that? Knock this one out. Boom, repair bay. I don't know how close it has to be either if there, you know, it has to make a certain amount of contact or what. Let's see if just ho hovering over it is making a difference. Okay, no, that's not making a difference. And actually, let me see if you can select this if I have to do anything to it. Okay, I don't. So the landing gear is touching it. Uh, uh. Okay, currently repairing a small vessel. Progress 98% of the 3230. Okay, so it is repairing right now. Okay, it's not letting me place this down. Why is that? Oh, maybe you can only have one per vessel. Hmm. And if that's the case, then you got to use the same one and I have to kind of rotate them out. Okay. Okay, one. Maximum amount, one. Okay. All right, well, I might have put it in the center. But we did find out that you can only place one, so I couldn't put one on here on both sides so they can be repairing while I'm sitting here. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, cool. So what I want to do now is jump in here and I want to put down one of these auto miners. I, I'm going to do one on Prometheum because Prometheum is what you need for fuel. All your fuel sources is Prometheum. Ah, oh, doggone it. It's dark. Okay, I'm going to wait on that since it's dark. We may go to another planet, but I want to auto mine Prometheum, Cobalt, maybe Magnesium, but it isn't a lot of Magnesium ores. That would be on the moon, so I may not do Magnesium. Zascosium and Aristrium, of course, and then uh, maybe something like Silicone or Copper. Okay, so I am going to go ahead, even though it's dark, y'all going to have to bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and gonna go out here and put down an auto miner I'm gonna find a prometheum deposit so it's a prometheum deposit down here to the southeast more southern than eastern so we're gonna head down here hopefully won't any of these night creatures really fool with me I'd have took my hovercraft. My hovercraft would protect a little better because it has auto turrets, whereas um, small vessels don't. So they can't really protect you while you're doing something else. Oh, I think my lights are off. make sure we don't see any enemies close cool okay so the Prometheum is right here all right it's right below us so we're gonna get the auto miner out there okay so I know we got to put energy in here let's see if we can do a shift okay cool so the source quality is only 71% but it's still 300 per hour so it would be 400 if it was a hundred percent 699 next product and Okay, cool. So every 11 seconds is getting a deposit. I wonder what happens if I walk through that laser. Oh, it won't let me. All right, so cool. So we got down an auto miner and it is a tier three. So we're gonna leave that there. 
So cool. First auto liner down. Okay, so the moon has a cobalt, a cobalt deposits on it. We may go there for the cobalt. Now I may not have enough warp juice to be just jumping around, going anywhere. I want to hit Skillion, but I wanted to do that while I knew I had a whole video. Do I want to deal with the dangers of Oscatoon? Alright, so what we'll do, we're going to go to the moon first. I'm going to hit the cobalt there. I'm going to decide if I want to go out to Oscatoon um, in this video or not to put these down. But I'm going to pull in and we'll go ahead and, and jet to the moon. So I'll meet y'all on the moon. All right, so we left the planet and I was gonna meet y'all on the moon, but then I realized that since we are in space and I do need Prometheum, but the Prometheum was the first thing I saw. We can test this drill out and we will get down some auto miners. Now I need that cobalt, but I'm I actually, I'm pretty sure I've, prop, I've already cleaned out most of that cobalt asteroid, if I remember correctly. We did that in a way earlier video when we were first able to just leave Akua and hit the orbit, so. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have any harvest boxes in here. Uh, give me one second, let me. Let me check on my harvest boxes. All right, cool, so we put the harvest box there. I'm gonna make the harvest box a little lighter just so I can tell the difference. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you have a drill on your, C your uh, CV or your hover vessel, it's not gonna work if you don't um, have a harvest box. I thought I could choose the drill down here in the high keys, uh, with one, two, three, or four, but I guess not. So I gotta go into it manually. Okay, 8, 10, cool. So it is working, but I can't pull any closer. Yeah, we definitely need this Promethean. We were starting to run low. And uh, the CB uses, it consumes a good bit of energy when it wants to. This is really cool. Before I had to hop out, float out there with my jetpack, and try to uh, collect these resources. Now you get to do it from the safety and comfort of your CV. Oh yeah, we can get all up in here now. All up in ya. So I'm not going to clean this out since we have the auto, auto miner going on a cool I'll leave this as a backup resource but I did want to just test the drill see how it works and it works well and let's see how much Promethean we were actually able to get let's check our box real quick not that box Wow, 672 that quickly. That's not bad at all. That kind of make me want to keep going. But I'm not going to. I'm going to go to this Cobalt Asteroid. Yeah, you see, I'm pulling up on this Cobalt Asteroid. It's looking raggedly. Look at that. I about wipe this thing out. Well, I'm going to get a little bit of what's here. And um, 
we'll move on to the moon as I said okay so I am on the moon and I've actually been going around getting some more Pentaxit because Pentaxit is at a premium now I want to put down an auto miner for this cobalt but there's this drone base kind of over here lingering so I think it's time to take out the drone base I got my rocket launcher I got my homing rocket launcher so we're gonna try to take out whatever guns that they try to throw at us knock off this drone base it's not firing there we go it lit up now okay my homing missiles are not hitting very well I don't know what they aiming at come on missiles what y'all doing Maybe I'm not close enough. Okay, so this isn't working out very well. There we go. I got one of them. There we go. Got two of them. Oh, that's a transport vessel. Come on, they got another gun right there. I don't know what kind of damage I'm taking. Okay, okay, okay. I think I can kind of get him at an angle without him hitting me. Boom, got him. Did I? Maybe I did. There it is. We're gonna knock out that transport vessel too. <laughs> he ain't never even get to take off. Uh, let me look at my vessel real quick. Okay, my Gat Gatling gun has taken some damage. My rocket launch on the front. That's cool. We can repair all that. I'm assuming it's probably one more right here on the edge. There we go. Boom. Something else is shooting at me. What is that? That might be an a, a alien. I can't really tell, so I don't know what I blew up. I don't know if I blew up a person or a a turret of some sort. I can't really tell, and I don't really care. Because whatever that is shooting at me got to get it. Alright, so we're trying to see if there are any other weapons that we missed. I think that might be one more rocket or cannon. It is. Oh, and it's trying to aim. What is that? Is that a person? I don't know what that is. Okay, cool. Now, I don't know if there are any enemies that are actually in the drone base. It must be a spawner in there. Woo! Because I, I can't see how these people keep shooting at me. It has to be a spawner right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a spawner right there. Okay, took out one spawner. Okay, there's another spawner I see. See if there are any more spawners that I may have missed. Oh yeah, I see one over there. Oops. I'm blowing up cargo boxes that could be contained in some loot we could use. Oh, 
snap. Oh, snap. Did you see that? So is it a, a spawner right there? Okay. Now I feel like it's... Oh, I done ran out of fuel. I done ran out of fuel. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Am I out of fuel? Yes, I am out of fuel. Wow. Okay. So I am concerned that another one of these may spawn. So what I'm going to Oh, 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 oh. I didn't like the sounds of that. I'm a I'm gonna use my uh my drone. Oh, got some weaponry. Cool. Okay, the other one is gone. Yeah, I'm trying to tell if that's a spawner. Let's see what all we can. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay, yeah, this will have to be a project for another day. Yeah, cool, cool. Ooh, some Zascosium. Okay, that must have been in that container that I blew up. Trying to find all the containers before they uh, despawn. Ah, oh, man, some biofuel. Okay, yeah, these was containers. Okay, I do see a spawner down there. I see a spawner down there. Let's see if I can shoot. No, it's not letting me shoot. Yeah, something is in there now. Something dangerous is in there. Probably them dang on scorpions. Oh, 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 I gotta get in my vehicle. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, some kind of spawner is right here. Some kind of spawner has to be right there. Woo! This done made things even more interesting. So this drone base is crazy. I haven't raided any drone bases yet. be some good loot here oh okay okay yeah <laughs> got some rifles in there wow okay so we will come back and tackle the drone base at another date i did get it down enough though that i can go and um put my miners down for this cobalt it's to the left so that was our goal and we'll come back and tackle that because that's there's still some danger in that drone base so I'm wondering if the drone base on Akua is of similar danger. We'll find out. We is sure gonna find out. Not today, but we gonna find out.
All right, so we're gonna put down our second auto miner. I like to pull out my drill so you can see where it is. Put your ore joint, okay. Okay, well, I moved this around a couple times. The quality is not great, but it's only 53%, but that's the best we're gonna do. I, I placed it in three different places. So it's working. We'll let it do what it's gonna do with this cobalt. Yeah, that drone base is serious. Okay, so I got a couple auto miners down and we got to see the difference because some give a higher percentage of yield than others. Um, so that's cool. And I even hit this drone base, so we got a little action in there. But I'm gonna do an official raid of this base later. Um, I'm going go in there really and loot it, take out them enemies, but we're not gonna do that right now. So what I am gonna do, I'm gonna put down my other three auto miners. I'm gonna head to Oscatoon and put down an auto miner with Eristrium and Zascosium so I can have those working. And I'm gonna collect, in general, just some other resources that I need. Cause like I said, I'm running low, get some more copper, uh, get some more silicone, and then keep collecting this Pentaxis so I can keep my weapons going. So yeah, so give me some tips, man. Let me know what you think. Give me that advice, you know, if you play Empyrean, um, of some ways to continually get these resources. Let me know if it's a better way to get the auto miner to uh, give you better yields, what you should look out for, things of that nature. All right, and just shout out, me, man, and thank you for stopping through. All right, come back in this video. You know how we gonna do, man. You can't see me, Imperial Galactic Survival. You know what I need you to do? Make your next move your best move. All right, peace. Can't see me. Let's go. It's game time and I bang mine. Yo, 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 yo.